I heard that even Death Knight was performing pretty well in Wild, and that was pretty surprising to me, because you figure the class with the fewest amount of cards, and then you cut their card pool in half, probably wouldn't be very good, but apparently it is, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And tomorrow I'm going to try out some odd Death Knight to see how that goes, so subscribe if you care about that. So anyway, we're playing Gengrey main, and it says at the start of the game, if your deck has only even cost cards, then your hero power costs one mana this game. So one mana to make a 1-1 one -one with charge that dies at the end of the turn. And that's pretty powerful, because it gives us pretty much guaranteed access to a corpse early on, which can enable things like the Battlefield Necromancer and the Bone Digger Geist. The cheap minion also helps with infusing things like Merlocula and the Priest of the Deceased, which can become a 2-mana 4-5 taunt. And it makes it easy to play a card like Dark Transformation that transforms an undead into a 4-5 minion. And finally, after we've played all these powerful minions and powerful board flooding effects, we have Grave Strength, which gives all of our minions a permanent plus 3 attack, which is pretty good at closing out the game. I played 10 matches with this deck, and I ended up winning 9 of them, so it seems like it is actually pretty strong. Alright, we start off up against probably Big Priest, which I think is unwinnable. don't think I keep any of this. Maybe I do keep Grave Strength, because I do need to kill the opponent. Kind of hard to get five corpses, though. Not really a turn four card, usually. But I think I probably do keep it. I need my opponent to have kind of a bad draw, like no Illuminate, nothing like that. And then I need the Grave Strength to be good. Okay, looks like it's not Big Priest, which is good for me. I think it's good for me, at least. Probably should... Hmm, maybe I should just Hero Power. Coining a 2-drop is good, I would probably coin Astalor. But the problem is they just shoot it, and then I don't really have a good turn 2. Like, this isn't active, this doesn't have a target. So it's probably better to just do it like this. And then here, I probably make a 4-5. Boom. 4-5. Not super aware of what Priest's removal plan is in Wild. Dude, what? HS Replay has a deck tracker for Marvel Snap. You have 12 cards in your deck. Well, whatever. Alright, looks like my 4 or 5 was the right choice. Pretty nice board state. And then one of these probably gets hero powered and next turn can be Astalor Bone Flinger. Pretty decent chance my opponent takes 10 damage next turn. Alright, there's the hero power I was expecting. Hit him for 10. And then if the opponent's not careful, they might get Grave Strength. I can hero power, so say they kill two things. I've got 6, 7, plus 9, 16 damage. They only kill one minion, but I need another minion to die for Grave Strength, so that doesn't really help much. I can trade this off, and then I have 5 plus 5 plus 7, which does force my opponent to heal next turn, so it might be worth it. Or I can just go, like, Tomb Guardians. If I just go Tomb Guardians, though, like, maybe they can play, what, like, Light Bomb, maybe? They probably don't play Light Bomb, though, do they? they had, like, Mass Hysteria, they would have played it. I guess they could play Reno. If I, uh, go all in. Let's just go Tomb Guardians. Uh, the Tomb Guardians are, like, pretty sticky, right? They're definitely killable, but they're pretty sticky. Oh, I actually did kind of forget that Tomb Guardians ate all of my corpses for this. But it's kind of fine. 
Okay, start with Finley. That doesn't mean no Reno here, though. And I don't think a Mass Hysteria would be that good. Shadow Word Horror, maybe? Shadow Word Horror would not be good enough, I think. I think they kind of have to full clear me here. I mean, Mass Hysteria always can be good enough. Okay. I seriously underestimated how strong that card was. But once again, if stuff sticks, I have Grave Strength. A single two power minion living is good enough. Wow, Defias Leper. Huh. I guess that is a common card in that deck. Alright, I believe I have Lethal here. This is two, this is three, and then this is three, three, so nine. Maybe they could have like a Desperate Prayer or something. Very nice. Oh wow, Merlocula is really good off the mulligan. I guess that makes sense. So easy to have things die. Oof. What a stinky, stinky hand. We have turned our curse into our strength. Haunted Creeper is insane for Merlocula. It's just so many bodies. No clue what Warrior is. Is Pirate Warrior a thing? Probably. I think I can only deal 4 damage to that, which is kind of annoying. But I think I will deal, deal 4 damage to it. Because with 4 damage means Merlocula. Oh, this is looking kind of bad for me. Oh, Patch is in the opponent's hand. Or maybe they don't have it, either way. Necrolite? I'm definitely hero powering here. Necrolite looks pretty good, I think. Alright, I think Bone Flinger is pretty good. Uh, maybe these Grave Strengths are pretty good starting next turn. Gives me 4 power for my hero power to keep the board down. Ankar is fine. I'd probably go Mortician here and hope I can play for board with it. Probably just Plague Strike. 
Army of the Dead looks so, so good, but it's so, so slow. I don't know, maybe it's not that slow. I would just play it next turn and then turn 8, double Grave Strength. But I don't think I need it for the Grave Strengths to be good. There's no way that's one of the top pirates you can be playing in this format. There's Patches. So if I hero power and send everything face, I have eight... Plus 12. My rule is eternal. I guess they probably took Bloodraiser. They took Sphere of Sapiens. Well, that's lethal. I think. Yep, nice. Let's go, Astalor. Not sure what I would have done without lethal there. Probably still just would have pushed face. The Lich King. Druid, don't know what that means. Death is nature's way. All will serve me in death. What does Grave Strength look like off the mulligan? Pretty weak, huh? Feels like it's definitely strong in some matchups. The drawn win rate is very high. Druid feels like it could gain a million armor and also let me stick a board. I don't know, it's just like so hard to play this card on curve. I guess that's probably why it's not good off the mulligan. It's not just a 4 mana bloodlust, you need the corpses. Oh god, I really wish this was a freaking freaking grave strength instead of again. Well, if they kill my Haunted Creeper, then uh, Priest of the Deceased on 3 is quite strong. I'm happy to see this card made its way into a deck, because I predicted it would be kind of strong, and then it ended up being kind of awful. And I don't like looking stupid, even when I am stupid. Okay, my opponent just chose not to hero power. Alright, school teacher is fine. Don't think there's any reason I would need the health from vampiric blood. Probably just graveyard shift. Super sticky board gives me a lot of corpses, why not? That is scary. Alright. If I get cleared, I have a pretty insane reload with Tomb Guardians, Priest of the Deceased, and the Necromancer. Don't have the small weapon. What does this even do? What is the wording on this card? Okay, it has gained 10 mana crystals. It doesn't go up to 20 with Guff. Well, where's a Grave Strength when you need one? Uh-oh, it's cutscene time. I don't really know if they can deal with my board, though. Poison Seeds isn't exactly great. But they do have infinite mana. I very well could just be dead. Is that friendly minion? It is not.
Kinda seems like my opponent hasn't accomplished much so far. Oh, here we go. I don't remember how big this gets. Another bees. What if I mind control that and then they just can't kill it? That'd be really funny. Like, really funny. Oh, uh, do they naturalize it? I'm stealing that, right? Can they deal with my four health minion? I feel like they could have another bog beam. And then maybe they have like aquatic form. Oh, they could have bog beam living roots perhaps. Maybe another naturalize. I guess they could kill it. I do have an army of taunts I can throw in the way of these golems if they're enough to kill me. Because I need two turns to kill my opponent. Alright, well I definitely need board slots, so you can get traded off, deal 3 damage to a minion, if that kills it, summon a 2-2. Two -two. Whatever, I'll just play the bigger taunt. Fuck it. I mean, if they couldn't kill my line cracker last turn, I don't see how they could possibly kill it this turn. Oh god, that feels so good. Oh, what a great victory. Another hunter. Uh, the last hunter was odd with the quest. Oh, uh, Geist has to be good off the mulligan, right? Probably one of my best cards. The list I'm looking at doesn't play Geist. But for what purpose would you not play the two mana three four? I think I want two Geists. Our 
I guess maybe I wanted to mulligan for something I could play on turn one. I guess that's the reason to not do this. Probably make a 4-5 with Rush next turn. That card- what? When did this change happen? Two mana, twin spell, deal two? That card used to be one mana, deal one, right? Must have been OP in this deck. I don't know if I should be afraid of this 0-2 uh, thing. I might have just taken 2 damage for no reason. We are going face. I need the corpses, whatever. Pretty mediocre necrotic mortician here. Oh, I was wondering why this deck looks so different from the last quest hunter. But it's because the last one was odd and this one is not. Which should have been obvious because my opponent's played four two mana cards already. Alright, I think this all went pretty well. Need one to die for Merlocula, and I need two corpses for Tomb Guardians. That's right, you have to target minions. Wait, no, you got Tavish already? Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Well, I think I do want to play Tomb Guardians here. Put the opponent to six, or give my things reborn. I certainly could die here. That is absolutely possible. Skill command. Oh, that's not lethal. Oh, they can draw cards, though. There are some zero mana. Okay, never mind. You've been even decayed. 